One day I woke up puzzled, with a scrambled feeling in my brain, a body that didn't look the same, and I realised that I was Rubik's cubed. The mirror revealed a human-esque geometric mess, all unaligned and coloured too brightly. And at work that day, people stared but didn't say what was right there, just politely asked, are you okay? And I'd reply, yeah, fine, thanks. As you do. At lunchtime I couldn't eat, so I hid inside a toilet stall. Head rested on the wall, I pulled cubed knees to a tightly cubed chest and tried to solve how to smile. It took two weeks too long to see a doctor. Just some general practitioner who was not the best of listeners and who told me it's all in my head that I need exercise and sleep instead of wasting his time that it'll all get better if I just tried to pull myself together. But exercise is now some foreign notion. Just the plain idea of motion means moving these blocks, simply putting on clothes is a painful thought. And as for sleep, I can't sleep. Or can only sleep. But my body tangles up the sheets and my jutting edges catch in the springs and even when I do sleep brings only dreams of cold mathematics, like equations for happiness and formulas for hope I just can't understand and beside me is that space. That space I still can't face but which my mind falls into. That dent of emptiness in the mattress saying perhaps you'd seen it before I did when you said I was selfish. A hopeless helpless mess who couldn't care less that I hurt you to hug my body sharp edges and in my dents and depressions your problems were lost. And just a week after you said we were through, you told me how you'd met somebody new and my face turned red, my stomach green with a heart twisted blue. I told the white lie that I was happy for you. Was it then that I changed to this alteration without explanation or reparations and there's no apparent antidote or vaccination so instead I take a combination of pills and liquors and I pick the... stickers. Pick and scratch, detach and edge and hidden spots, a sticky mess of paper scars from the times I went too far and then that time I went too far. At the hospital I saw a different physician, a specialist geometrician who this time told me I wasn't unique. The Rubik's people walk the streets, we just don't always see them. And she said there is no secret permutation or combination of pills and talking therapies, we just have to try some out and see, but it takes time. And sometimes it's okay if you can't get dressed and to be a mess, to talk with poems and dream of algorithms. Because even the seemingly impossible problems can be solved. <laughs>